Hello. I'm going to unmute everyone. Unmute all. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jasmine, I cannot unmute. Let me see. Jasmine, can you try to unmute yourself? All right. Well, welcome, everybody. So far, we have three participants here. Jasmine is having some trouble. So welcome, we're gonna wait a few more minutes. Last time there were a lot, lot of participants here. That's why I repeated this um, webinar. But today I think maybe everybody learned Google Slides already. <laughs> you are also see my friend and colleague Ivana here. She's going Hi. to be the co-host. Um, and See, well, we can always start with something. Mm -hmm. So you should be seeing, um, you should be seeing the presentation. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me just get my chat back. Oopsie. And while we wait, it's always good to hear some music. Welcome everyone. Let me just check. There is one more participant, Karen. I'm going to admit. Mm -hmm. Come on. <clears throat> All right. So let's get started. We're only well, we will be a small workshop. So if you don't mind, if you have a reason why you don't want to show the video, that's okay. I know that some hosts say turn off the video. I'm all for seeing each other, especially <laughs> with a really small group. And it's a small group, so we can really practice this. Great. I see Carrie. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Good. All right. So let's get started. Hello. I see... Um, hello, I see you. I don't see a name, but I see you. <laughs> and Karen is uh, unmuting, I think. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. We don't have to be camera worthy. <laughs> That's totally fine. All right. So this is a webinar on how to use Google Slides for writing projects with students. So um, Michelle already shared their Gmail. That's great because what we want to do in this workshop is create a Google slide document ourselves. So I walk you through the theory. I show you some examples and then we will do a basic document ourselves. And since there's only a few of us, there is one more. Okay. Since there's only a few of us, it would be really nice if you share the Gmail. I think it only works with Gmail. But let's try. Ivana, if you could yeah. try to share okay. that yeah. one, we, we're still exploring that. Mm -hmm. Good. Hello. 
Pen Berthy just joined. Okay. If you don't want to use your um, video, Pen Berthy, no problem. If you want to show us your video, we'll be happy. All right. Good. So just a quick shout out to Nice Tiso, who is enabling this round of webinars. Here is some general information. If you need the CTLE credit from Nice TESO, here's the link. And if you want to join Nice TESO, if you're not a member, or if you know somebody else who wants to join, it's only $20.20, a real bargain. And that's the link here. Um, Ivana, can you copy this and paste it in the chat? Is that possible? Can you access it in the Google Slides? Yes, I can do it. Good. That. Then Ivana will post it in the chat. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so a few Zoom basics. Three weeks ago, nobody knew what Zoom was. At least mm -hmm. I didn't. Now most of us are pretty good. Um, the everybody is muted was when I was expecting more people. So I don't have to mute you. If you have questions, type it in the chat box. And we also, I will check in for questions. Let's just see my Zoom experts, if everybody knows how to raise hands. How you do that is you click participants. Then you click raise hand, the blue hand. Okay, Karen knows, Karen's hand was raised. Mm. Let's see who else can raise a hand. Karen gets the gold medal of hand raising. Ooh. Oh, okay. Carrie, number two, silver. <laughs> and this actually, Nidia, this is, um, this is the reaction spot, which is also good. You can applaud or you can give thumbs up. But for the hand, you have to go to participants in your toolbar at the bottom, participants, and then click here. That should bring you to a list where you have this. If not, never mind. I'll figure it out on my own. Yes, thank yeah. you. But you will be shared. We have a recording. And if you have questions, get back to me later, or you can check again in the recording. You can also, since we're a small group, just say, excuse me, I have a question. Go old school. So also here is, maybe Ivana, could you copy paste that also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, here we have, uh, there are a lot of um, webinars right now and help videos. This is from the actual Zoom website and they may have even updated it. Um, and here is a lot of information how you can use Zoom better. Okay, give me one moment. Um, little tech difficulty, oh no, here. Good. I'm just letting in a few more people. Just letting in a few more people. Let me double check. Yes, all good, excellent. So if you have Zoom questions, that's one good source how to find it. In this workshop, we will create a Google Slides document and share it that you can share with your students. Um, we talk a little bit, little bit about engaging students in the writing process, although this workshop, this webinar focuses most of all on creating the Google Slides document. And I give you some examples, but it's not a writing workshop per se, just to clear that up. And we also want to improve teacher and student digital literacy skills. So I want to give you a few tips that hopefully will be helpful. That's me. I'm, I'm okay with computers, but I always find colleagues and students who know more and I enjoy learning more and more. Um, now about you. So how do you feel about Google Slides? Are you a number one? I really don't know much. 
Are you a number two hmm, sometimes or are you a number three? I'm an expert already. So if you could go to the chat box and type a one, a two or a three. I have one response already, spectacular. Uh huh. Okay, so I hope that my my twos, I hope that my two and a halves and my threes are not too bored here because this is a basic Google workshop. And I hope that I can help the one and the twos a lot. Okay, good, let's see. So here is an overview. So what is Google Slides? Most people will be familiar with Microsoft Office. So you know Word docs, you know Excel sheets, and you know PowerPoints. So far so good? Thumbs? Yes? Good. So Google Drive is almost, it's very similar, but it's online in the cloud. So the Google equivalent for a Word document is a Google document. The Google equivalent for an Excel sheet is a Google sheet. And the Google equivalent for a PowerPoint is a Google Slides document. So PowerPoint has more features. Google Slides cannot do everything that PowerPoint can do, but it can do quite a lot of things. And you can also create a PowerPoint document and then upload it to Google Slides, for example. So what's the advantage of Google Slides? Number one, it's free. It comes with your Gmail. Number two, you can share it with students easily. If your students have internet access, of course. Any questions so far? If you have questions, just feel free to type them in the chat box. Um, so sometimes I find that beginners don't know what to look for really. So finding good tutorials online. I would not be afraid to put something, Google Slide for Dummies or whatever for Dummies. I do that a lot when I start something. You can also be more specific, Google Slides for ESL teachers. Pay attention to when the video was made, how many clicks it has, and also how long it is, if the resource is free. Here are a few that I found very useful. And um, what we could also do is if, if everybody shares your email, I can also send you a link to, to a presentation after, if you want these links. Maybe that would be the easiest way. And I promise I will never share your email or sell it or tell anybody I have it. And neither will Ivana, right? <laughs> Good. So one thing I found is, um, here is a video that I found quite useful. So I'm gonna play the beginning. You can watch that at home later. Give you a complete can you hear audio? And everything you can do on that platform. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now, everyone with a G Suite account, but also everyone with a personal Gmail account has access to Google Slides. And Google Slides is Google's answer to a presentation. So I found him really useful, but I don't know if everybody here is aware of this feature. You have settings and you can put the playback speed to 0 0.75, which is super useful, A, for your students, for any YouTube video that your students watch. But when I'm learning something new, I find it also helpful for me because he speaks pretty fast. Software, and it's increasingly powerful. So it really depends on you. Maybe you say, I don't need that, I hear fine. But for your students, it may be a helpful feature. I just wanted to throw that in here. <clears throat> so you can check that out at home. So how to create Google Slides document. So first you need a Gmail address. Uh, who has a Gmail address? Nidia, Carrie, uh, Penberthy, Alicia, could you? And oh, welcome. 
Resida Calais, am I pronouncing that horribly wrong? Okay, for the people who just joined, I'm uh, happy to unmute you. And if you wanna share your video, I'll be very happy. If you don't wanna share your video, no problem. But since it's a small um, workshop, um, we can do that. I'm actually going to go and show you, instead of this list, I'm going to show you, um, stop sharing. Give me one moment. All right. I got to share my screen again. Okay. I'm going to show you from the beginning. Okay. So you go to your Gmail. So this here is your Gmail. Everybody can see my Gmail? There are no state secrets in there. Yes? Good. So you go here. Then you go to the top right where you see the nine little dots. Nine little dots. Up here, you click and you get to drive. Then you have, this is online in the cloud, all your documents that you have in the cloud. Um, here you see new, so you can create a new Google Doc, the Word equivalent, a Google Sheet, the Excel equivalent, or a Google Slides document, the PowerPoint equivalent. You click on this, and here is your Google Slides document. You can choose a theme if you want, I always like orange. So if you click on this, you have your cover slide. And also, you can add different slides with a different look. What other colors do people like? Do you have a favorite theme or a favorite color? Can you type it? Plum purple. Oh, okay. So here we have plum lovers. So that would be here. And then here, this is a little small. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Yes. So here you see the plus with a little arrow. Now you can add more slides. You can add one like this. You can add one like this. You can add one like this. If slides carnival, I don't no, then one, but we also, Slides Carnival, do you know what that is, Ivana? Not really. Slides Carnival, what is it, Alicia? Hi, I apologize for turning off my video. My um, internet connection operates better when I turn off the video and it streams better. So I apologize, but Slides Carnival is an online resource it's free and you can find templates of Google Slides presentations with more colors and more backgrounds oh. and download them and input your own information. Um, they're very colorful and very um, vibrant and sometimes there's a lot going on. So I would be careful about picking ones appropriate for students and things, but um, I just uh, shared the link in the chat with everyone. So if you want to look at that, um, you yeah. can look at and that's really helpful. I would suggest when we finished with our document, we're going to look at that and see what else we can do. That's really helpful. I never heard that. That's what I love. You always learn more. Good. So then here you can change um, fonts, colors. I, I would suggest we do that in a moment with our own project. Just before we do that, I'll show you a few examples. So these are um, samples from the projects that I did with my students. This is a beginner class and um, we did I am from poems and they just wrote a little bit. And then when we were done, the students typed it. Also, they cannot type really well. Um, so it's good that it's short here. And I showed them how to add photos. We have this one, this one, fresh fruit. So from the intermediate class, we asked to make it a little bit more um, special. Like everybody likes fruit, but how can you make it more interesting? So this one 
uh, Patricia came up with that there are different types of mangoes. I had no idea that there were so many mangoes. I don't know if you knew. So that's what we did here. And then in one of the following classes that were still in person, um, she brought in a few mangoes. Of course, New York City doesn't have as many. Okay. Yeah, we talked so about. Mm -hmm. quick, Karen raised her hand, so I'm not sure if she wants to ask somebody or if it was an error. Oh, I raised it before and I just never put it down. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'll do that now. Yeah, there's actually, I didn't mention that, my mistake. There is a function raise hand and also lower hand. But you can just interrupt any moment, say stop or type. It's very casual here. So that was Luz, Ecuador. And here she made it really nice with the Mexican uh, flag and the photos and the text. And actually this student brought a um, pudding to class in, in the colors of the Mexican flag also to go with it. For advanced, um, we have this here. This is childhood memory. And yeah, let's, let's create our own Google slide. Let me just get out of full screen. So thank you, Alicia. Um, let's find a topic, something that we can do here in this webinar. We want to create our own Google Slides. So it could be a topic that everybody, that makes everybody feel better in these difficult times. It cannot always be cats. Ivana and I are very much on the cat side, but we're open to other animals and other topics, absolutely. Vacation places, ooh. That's actually a good one. When all this is over, where can we go for vacation? Virtual vacations that could even be integrated. Interesting, any other ideas or how can we take that? Okay, let's go with vacation places. So I'm gonna close this and start again from scratch. Do we have, oh, actually, hang on, let me just check something. Yes, so we're not gonna make a new document because people are shared in here. So I just show you again how to make a new document, just to rewind. So you go to your, Oh, hang on, I got a message that people try to come in and they can't. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's old. Well, I think that's old. Okay. Um, so you're in your email, then you go to the nine dots on the right. And then you get all the wonderful things Google has to offer. And one of them is Google Drive. Google Drive is kind of your online storage. So we're here and then you click new Google Slides. Document. So now we have a brand new document. Actually, let me just try something quickly because you share your Google Doc by clicking the share button here. No, I cannot, okay. So since we're all shared on this document, I'm actually gonna do it here. I hope that's, let me know if that is confusing. So here, this would be a brand new document, right? But I'm going to the one where I have my presentation and I'm gonna add pages at the end of it. I'm gonna add plus, plus, plus some pages at the end of it because you're shared here. So now we have three pages here. So what we'll do is we need a title. 
So just like a Word document, you click here to text. So the title could be vacations. And you can all change this in a moment. So see if you can open this document. You should have gotten a link in your email. And then you actually have the presentation already, which is, okay. I see someone here. I see Alicia, Alicia is in. So, and what I would do in class is I would model for my students. So, um, you could either write the name on top of the page. <clears throat> so vacation, let me think. Where do I want to go for vacation? I, um, I, vacation. I can't wait to go on my next vacation. So that would be a start. So that's me. Let's have everybody set up here. We have somebody. Oh, we have four people in here. So let me just give everybody a page. So we have Alicia. And if you have a question, interrupt anytime. So I go on the next slide, 34. And I put a little text mark. This is Alicia's page. Then I go on the next one. And here we have Karen's page. Karen. So I go here and I write Karen. Mm -hmm. Then we have a few more people. I hope I'm not mispronouncing terribly. Calais and Pen Berthy. I don't know what if that's a name. I just write what I see here. Feel free to change it to your actual name if that's not your actual name, and media. Media. So just if you start writing about vacation, how to add photos, we do all that in a moment. Do one more for Nidia, and Ivana will get one too. Of course, last not least. Good. All right, so could everybody, oh, sorry, Pen Berthy was a little after the others. Yes, so I need you to share your email with me. If you don't want to do okay. that for the people who came later, no problem. So but in order to, hmm? and I'm going, uh, Pen Berthy did, and I'm going to add her now. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Okay, let's just make sure if everybody is in. Who's in and ready to type? Can you type ready in the chat box or in the Google Doc? Good, Karen is ready, Carrie is ready. Good. So let's start with Karen. Where's Karen? Karen and now let me see who was a 2.5 and who was a 3 from the beginning. Carrie is a 2.5. So we're going to start with Carrie. <coughs> okay, Carrie. Can you just write a sentence or two about vacation? Where would you like to go? What's your vacation dream right now? When I say the word vacation, what do you think? And everybody, if you go on slide 40, you, sh you, would, you will see her right. <coughs> I would love to go to Japan. Good, beautiful. Okay, excellent. So now, Carrie would love to go to Japan. She wants to eat sushi and visit temples. 
since we have a little bit of time, we're going to look a little bit more in detail at um, adding images. So the easiest way to add images is you go to insert here, image, and you can do it, search the web. You can use Google right away. So you go search the web, Japan. Carry anything that you like. Or do you want to do it yourself, Carrie? Actually do it on your computer. Yes, perfect. So she did that on her computer. She went to insert, image, search the web. Now, there's only one issue with that. If you only do it for a private class project, that's fine. But if you share your work online, if you want to publish it a bit more, maybe you want to only use images where you can use copyright. So if we wanted to do that, there is two options. And I go quickly to another page. Um, do you know pixabay.com? Yes or no? Pixabay? Pixabay is a really cool um, website and they have free images. So you can use these and not get in trouble copyright wise. I used so much from Pixabay, I actually gave them a donation. They always ask for donations. If you use a lot, I would do it. But if you need a picture here and there, it's absolutely free. Um, so let's put in Japan and we see, so it's not too bad. You have to be careful. The top row here, this is Shutterstock. This is commercial. This is for money, the top row. Pixabay starts with the green stones. So all of these are royalty free. And they have some pretty decent images. You can go to illustrations or photos, and that's one good source. The other good source is if you go to google.com, I just go to Google, I put Japan. Um, and then you click images. Uh, and now this is the problem of this computer because that only works on Chrome and this baby does not stay on Chrome. It goes to Yahoo. Let me try one more time. Okay, this is my computer thing. My computer has a bug. Let me just try a different browser. So when you're on Google, you go to Japan. Yes, and then images, here it works. So now you have a ton of images but you cannot really use them all without violating potentially copyright. So you click tools and then here you see usage rights and you can do label but for reuse. So they are not as nice usually on Google, the ones for reuse, but it's just something to be aware of. So you click images when you're on Google, tools, and then labeled for reuse. Or you use Pixabay or if you say, for my presentation, that doesn't matter at all, nobody is seeing my students' pictures, just go to insert image, search the web. That's the easiest. Any questions about uh, photos? So let's see what we have here. Ooh, who's this? Australia would be my dream vacation. Who is this? Who's, who's Australia? Oh, Nicholas, now I know the pen birthday. Nick, okay. This is beautiful. So you can also put a big map and add some effects and write some texts. Beautiful. Let's see if anybody else has something. Nidia, I want an immense sea view from my window. I'm thinking on cruise around the Mediterranean. Ooh. So Nidia, can you try to go to insert on your computer, image, and search the web? And then see if you find something that um, fits. Mm. 
Wow. Oh, this is so good. Excellent. So let's see. Carrie. Yes. Ooh, oh. I really want to go right now. And Alicia, who is that my vacation was canceled, but it's important for everyone to remain safe and healthy. Yes, I was supposed to go to Florida, but I would love to visit Paris, France. Excellent. Good, so we just wait one more moment until everybody has written a little bit. Could you write something too, Ivana? I know you are very busy with many tasks because the next step we will work a little bit on peer editing and I need to improve mine a little bit. Um, So I do insert, search the web. Germany, you probably, oh, yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of bratwurst and castles. Okay, I have to be more specific. For now, I just put this, that's good. All right, good. So let's see. Also, maybe Nick. Nick, could you do something with our, with slide 32, our title page? Maybe you have an idea how to make that spectacular. Good. And that's also what you can do if in your class you will have students who finish sooner. So it's always good to give them something to do. Like a title page or you could have a sub title page. Ooh. Um, Kale, can you access this? Or is... I don't think that Kale shared um, their email with me. Kale, if you don't want to share your email, no problem. I just want to make sure that if you want to participate, we're not excluding you. So you can also send Ivana your email privately if you prefer. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And, but everybody else is going crazy here with the photos. It's beautiful. I had a feeling you would do that. Beauty, good. Okay. Good. So let's take another 30 seconds to a minute to everybody finish kind of their pages and then we go to the next step. And I still find it magical to see how the pages are being built in front of my eyes. And students who've never seen this really like it. Where, oh, wow, Nidia is going crazy. Good, so many pictures, beautiful. Okay, so let's uh, do two things. First thing, we're gonna practice a little bit of peer commenting. I find that in my classes, students are very good with writing something. Write, 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 finish teacher. 
And A, it's difficult to get them to write more and to change and edit. And B, it's hard to get them engaged with uh, other people's writing. So I always say, I give them an example. So this is mine. Um, how, can you, how can I make this more interesting? What could I add? Give me some suggestions. Nick, what do you think? How could I, what's missing here? Or somebody else? Any ideas? Is it a lot of text? No. What could I write? What do you want to know? Everybody can see my slide? So I say, I can't wait to go on my next vacation, but probably I will just go visit my family in Germany. Aha, uh -huh. ooh. Okay, so Nick says, where is your family from? So what we're gonna do now is everybody, please go in here and do it like this. So write your question and then write your name. All right, good. Who has one? Nidia, you have a question for me? Yeah, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, I don't know how to do it. You, are you in the document? Yes. Uh, so click on slide 33, Nidia. Uh, click yeah, on slide 33, and you should it. be able to just type. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Okay, Calais Road, where in Germany would you go? Marianne. Good. Okay, where are you? So my next step is, I could either, it depends if you want to focus on speaking or writing, you could do it speaking in class and then ask students to write it at home or you could have them write it here. So I would just write more. My family is from, I have never been to somewhere. Okay. I'm sorry, that was me and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and that actually, can you, can you press, yeah. So sometimes this happens. One student will do this, and this, and go, oh, teacher, I erased everything. So teach your students Command Z. Command Z, if they do something. Command Z is undo. <sighs> that is the quick fix. You can also, this is not for today, but for the future, I just show you. Under File, you click File, and then you see Version History. So you can go to any version of the document that was there before. So if you have a 20 page document and one of your students erases everything, doesn't know how to undo, you can always get it back. That's the other nice thing with Google Docs. So don't worry. Easy step, control Z. Second step, uh, file, version history. Good. So let's see, so take a moment um, and just visit the other people's pages. I just make the photos a little bit smaller so we have some space to type and write some comments or questions. We are a very advanced class, so you can also mm -hmm. comment on it. Say, oh, I also love Paris. Just start a conversation based on what you read. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Oh. 
Oh, da, somebody came in. <sighs> I hear some sighs. Are they good sighs or? Are they good sighs or? Sorry, Alicia, did we lose you? I just noticed. Welcome back. Sorry. Nice. Can can we insert comments? Yes, absolutely. Please insert comments, questions. Make but, the photo smaller if that's the only way you can insert a comment. That's okay. Not like a like a bubble. If you yes. But how? Oh, like a speech bubble. Uh huh. Um, there is this thing here. You have limited options in Google Slides. You have this here, shapes. It's uh, under this, you see the circle and the square. You click here, you have shapes, arrows, call outs. So bubbles would be here, equation. That's okay. actually a really nice thing for dialogue. So I'm gonna go on Nix, which is so nice. I almost don't wanna touch it, but I will shamelessly. So I go here, call outs and I write hey Nick or just hey I always wanted to go to Australia that's not the most original comment but I was taken by the bubble so let me repeat how to do the bubble you go to shape Callouts, you click on it, then nothing happens. Then you have to click and drag. Click and drag and a bubble opens. Then you can write in it. And that could actually be a really nice way to comment for multiple people on one slide. I didn't think of that before, so thank you. Other than what I did, Elke, I think it looks nicer with the call out box rather than just adding in a text box and then it you have to change much, the font, yeah. font color. It looks much nicer. Yeah. So when you go here, like we just said, you can change the font color. This is pretty much like a Word document. You can make it bigger. You can put a background. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Elka and Nick just made a, a good point. He said that you can also add comments off to the side, right? By insert comments. Yes. I find that usually this works with advanced classes. You can do that. For beginners, I would introduce that later. But does everybody see the comments on the side? This would also be a good tool um, that the teacher can use to correct student writing. Elka, could you just show us how to get there? Could you just yes. show everybody how to do it? Well, one thing is when you don't know, you go to help, add comment. Shortcut is control mm -hmm. option M or like this. I don't actually know where it is in the menu. It's an insert. It's an insert at the bottom. At the bottom. Insert. Oh yeah, insert comment. So three ways, insert comment. But if you're not sure, help is always a good option. You saw how quickly it found it. But insert comment. Okay, yeah, this is actually really good. Good, so then we only have like five minutes left. Let's do a quick show. Let's do a quick show. So first we go into presentation mode. Oh, we can also, I want to add one video. What is a video you would like to add to our presentation? Can you put it in the chat box? Then I'll get it. 
or just a type of music or somewhere over the rainbow by the gentleman at the beach. I always forget his name. Any wishes for a video? I hear typing. I don't see yet. Beach, something warm <laughs> and sunny. Okay, let's just, I just go to, um, I just go to Google. Beach song, let's see. Nope, okay, it's better, somewhere over the rainbow. I always like this one. Yeah, I'm going to use him. So you go to um, the internet. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hmm? I need this on YouTube though. Hang on. It works better when it's on YouTube for insert. MeTube. YouTube. Okay. So YouTube. So here I copy the YouTube link. I copy the link and I go back to our presentation. So here I go between the beautiful title slide that Nick made and my first slide and I go insert page. Now on this one I go to insert video, insert video. And here I insert the link, click search. And here is our video. So now I click on 32 and I wanna see it in present mode. So I click present and now we have the full show. Good, where should we go? To the moon, yes to a different state. Mm. So then you can play a video. Very soothing. Then we have me. Wow, Alicia or Alicia. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. So cool, yeah. And then normally when students see that one student, um, all the different things you can do, they can copy, say, hey, how do you do that? It usually, uh, it's very inspiring. Nice. You could also ask students to read their text. Karen, do you have audio? I do. Could you read it, please? Hi, I'm Karen. I would like to go to Corfu. Last year at this time, I planned a trip to Crete, and we had hoped to go back to Greece at the end of May, this time to Corfu on the other side of the country. Hopefully soon we will get to visit, and hopefully each of you will too. Carrie, thank you for your comment. Yes. So it, it feels different already when the students read it themselves. If you have a class with 25 people, I wouldn't have everybody read separately. But if you have a small class, that could be something. Students could also record it and add it. This is just a very introductory workshop. There's a lot of things we can do. Thank you so much for suggesting the bubbles. My life is richer. Oh, nice. Nidia? Nidia, you want to read it? I want an immense view from my window. I am thinking on a cruise around the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, take me with you. Yes. Important. Interesting. So nice. So you could also focus on bullet points. You could direct your students more about what they're going to write. So this is just, oh, hungry. Just some ideas. Good. So 
Before we end, I want to double check everybody has access to this document because then you have all the links. And I just added our document at the end of my presentation. So we were here, find a topic, thank you. You also have my email here next to the cat. And then our presentation starts. So it's at the end of our presentation. And I want to look at this, um, the carnival thingy here. Just while we have you, Alicia's tip. So okay, I, also, I think that Nidia had a question. Okay, give me one moment. I cannot copy paste the carnival. Okay, I will type it then. Nidia, I come to your question in a moment. Slidescarnival.com. Ooh, pretty. Free PowerPoint templates and Google Slides themes. Yes, because it is a little bit not too promising from a graphic design perspective. So this helps a lot. Very nice. That's an excellent tip. Thank you. Good. Let me see the question. Where is the question? I don't see it. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay, I'll type it. Oh, in person. No, no, no. Don't type it. Tell me. <laughs> How can, if you like um, one slide so much that you want to bring it out or bring it in, like export it or import it, however you want to say it. How, how can I just one slide to bring from another? Oh, or like how to make a template? Mm -hmm. So for example, I click here at the bottom, I make a new slide. So maybe you want to prepare, let me just make it bigger. Maybe you want to prepare one slide for all your students. So you could say, type your name here, and then you could say, you could help them with questions. Where do you want to go on vacation? So they can type here. They have a box already ready for them. And let's have one more question. Um, Um, the activities you will do. Um, how, what do you do on your vacation? Just a question. And then you could also prepare a speech bubble. So you could go here, especially if your students have trouble with this. So you click here and you make a few bubbles where you prepare comment. You just get this up, comment. So you prepare one page for your students, especially if your students are a little bit technologically challenged. And if you say, this is a good template, now I need 12 of these, so all my students start at the same place. And the ones who are not so good with technology can just fill it in. The ones who are really good with technology can, um, embellish it any way they like. So then at the bottom here, you click on this and you control click, or if you're on a PC, you right click. You right click the slide number 41, control click on a Mac and you go duplicate slide. Now you have two. Control click or right click again, duplicate slide and you repeat this and then you can make as many as you like. I think you can even, one, two, three, four, five, you can even, yeah, duplicate five at a time. So that's how you could prepare a project for students who need a little bit more help. And I see it's already two o'clock. Do we have any last questions, comments? Ivana, do you have something? No, no, I think. We're good. This was really relaxing to have a small webinar for once. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. I hope you got something out of this. And feel free um, to email me or questions, comments, 
anything. Okay. Last chance to say. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, vacation was beautiful. I needed this. Actually, I thought, will it make me sad since we're all locked up? But it was nice to look at the nice images. It's helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Take Bye. care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ivana, can you stay for a moment? Yes. <laughs> Nidia, to leave the meeting, you would go to the lower right hand corner. There's, there's something in red letters that says leave meeting. Bye. Elka, are you still recording? Oh, thank you. Hmm. Oh, here. <laughs>